Hey y'all, how you doing today? Um, I just wanted to share a little wisdom and a little knowledge with my friends out there. Um, we who know Christ, we know truth. We who know Christ know that He is King and He is Lord, He is sovereign and has all authority over all nations. We understand that our freedoms, our rights, and our liberties come from God. This is self-evident. We understand that the laws of this land, the USA, America, was set up based on this for the benefit of those who do not know Christ, for the benefit of being a tutor, as the law was a tutor in the Old Testament, the law of this nation is a tutor to those who still do not know Christ. So a man that does not know Christ and live by this higher law, which is love and life, will then, if they break the law of the land of the government, will then there is a price to pay for breaking this law. Now, when they break a law, they, they suffer the consequences of it. And the purpose of this is to bring the fire, to bring a repentance, to cause a man to stop and to think, to bring him to the end of himself, and to hopefully understand and to gain wisdom and to know God, Jesus. He is Lord. He is. This is so. Um, you know, to understand, you have to understand that Jesus told Pilate, You have no power or authority that my Father has not given you. So he understood something we need to understand nowadays. Um, we have... A president and government officials that we may not like and we may have opinions about but guess what it was allowed by God by Christ now what has happened is these people have set up a law that it's okay to use propaganda on the American people and what I'm seeing is so many people are falling for this extreme drama, endless rabbit trails, um, molehills being made into mountains, um, believing that all these things have power over Christ. Well, if you believe anything has power over Christ, well, you're wrong. And you have fallen for the great deception. And it will end up with a certain consequence that is not going to be very pleasant. But in the long run, it will bring you to the end of that opinion that anything has power over Christ. Um, it, once you see how this works, it's like, oh my gosh. Um, when you serve Christ and you know Him, and you know this is truth then the government of all the nations, this nation especially, the government serves you. Now, if you don't understand or know Christ or believe in God, well then the government rules over you. Now, this is how it's supposed to be. The rebellious spirit that doesn't know God is lawless and breaks the law and comes against the law and there's consequences to this. Now when they suffer the consequences of their own actions that is rebellion against the law, against that which is good and right and of love and of kindness and of mercy and of freedom and of peace, well then there is a price to pay and the price itself that they pay, the consequences of this, should bring them to repentance, bring them to their knees, bring them to a place that they come to the end of themselves. Um, whether it's played out, um, you know, whether it's played out in, a, in the justice system or whether God plays it out between 
human beings and life circumstance, it is played out. And it will bring a person to the end of their ability, whether mentally, logically, physically, to understand that Jesus is Lord and we're not. Jesus is Lord, you're not. And to bow the knee to this truth, to this fact that Jesus is Lord. Um, you know, the Great Tribulation is so misunderstood. I suffered the Great Tribulation back in the year 2000. The Great Tribulation is any human living human being dealing with their own mortality, life, and death. This is the Great Tribulation. Um, is there a Great Tribulation having to do with a lot of people at once, an event, a day? Well, yeah. Um, you know, there was a Great Tribulation in the World War II. There was a lot of men dealing with their mortality, with life and death, with purpose, with meaning. Um, this is a, a truth. This is common sense. This is wisdom. Christ is the very wisdom of God. To understand and to know Him, to have His Spirit, to live by this Spirit that is in you, His Spirit is love. Is it an emotion? Yeah, you can feel it. Is it truth? Yes, He is truth. Is it freedom? Yes, He breaks the bondages of everything that is not truth. The great deception is all of this propaganda on the internet and on the media thinking that anybody has power over Jesus. This is the great deception. If you think in your mind or your opinion that anything has power over Jesus, His sovereign rule, that He is good, that He is love and kindness and mercy and He's for you, well then you've missed the mark. Um, you know, God bless everybody. I, I pray and I hope you understand this thing because the church right now, above all times in history that I can remember, needs to know this and needs to keep this wisdom and needs to use some common sense. The enemy wants to tempt you into reacting. Well, as a believer, we don't react. We do what we do by nature. We, uh, we love people. We help people. We bless people. We, we want the best for people. We lift people up. We build people up. But at the same time, there's a just side of who we are, and we don't allow evil to prosper. And there, like I said, the law was sent for this purpose. The law was sent for the lawless, that they might learn the law as a tutor. Um, well, everybody, uh, I hope and I pray that you get all this. It's really hard to put into words. It's so simple, but it's so big at the same time. I don't want people to end up on endless rabbit trails through propaganda and drama and opinions and, and running off on just endless stuff that really doesn't matter in our daily life. What matters in our daily life is that we do what's right, that we keep this law of love of Jesus Christ, understanding that He protects us, He's our provider, He loves us as a Father, and we are His purpose, we are. His life is our purpose, we are the body of Christ on this earth. We are His government. We represent the law that is above every other law. Well, you guys, uh, bless you. Take care.